This is important for any business, right? As founders, we a lot of times believe we know the answer, but the truth is the consumer has the answer. You want to go where the audience is telling us to go. Hey, everybody. Welcome to a No Excuses with Chris George. I'm your host, co-founder and chairman of Subta. Super excited today. I've got Shocker with us, who is the co-founder of Purple Bundle. And he is going to be discussing this new product that he launched, this new business, which is, it's funny because we're going to talk about this, but I had this idea I talked about in a interview that I was in. So really excited to chat with them. Uh, and it's a service about bundling the different subscription brands. So on this show, if this is your first time watching it, this is where entrepreneurs will come on with me. They'll ask me questions so that I can help them build their business and find profitability through their business. Um, and Shocker, thanks so much for being on. Thanks, Chris. I mean, thanks a lot for the opportunity to actually talk to you in this interview today. Of course, of course. So tell everybody listening um, more about Purple Bundle and what, what it does. Sure. So what Purple Bundle does is basically when during the pandemic happened in last year, in the beginning of quarter one, uh, I was looking for a lot of uh, products basically to watch uh, music, movie streaming, music streaming, you know, just to keep me occupied at home. Uh, and one thing I realized is that the more I consume of these products, I'm not getting any incentive or, or discount. I just got to purchase it and just keep it. And the other thing was the problem that I was facing was I had so many uh, of this subscription charged to multiple of my cards. And some of it are charged on different cards. And I can't keep a track in terms of who is paying how much the amount and also the due date. Some are in the beginning of the month and some at the end of the month. So I was thinking to myself, uh, can there be a, pro, a platform that manages all the subscription in one single area? And that's when the bundle comes in because the more you bundle, the more you can save. That's great. When did you launch? You said last June? Uh, yeah, last year, June. Yeah. So one, congratulations on the launch. Uh, number two, I think it is smart. I know that there's probably a lot of challenges. And so, um, you know, we're here to have you ask me any questions and hopefully I can be a little bit of, a little bit of help and help guide you in the right direction. So just start off, give me your first question and, and we'll rock and roll here for about 20 minutes. So my first question will be perhaps, how do I search for a product market fit fast and get yeah. more traction on customers uh, and maybe perhaps get better feedbacks? Yeah. Is this bundle really beating for, uh, yeah. or is this a real market for it? I wonder if, because I'm assuming that you know, initially there's not there's not as much opportunity for profitability or the margins are small and you're going to play a volume game. Have you tried reaching out to these bigger brands, let's say the Netflixes and the Disney Plus and asking for like a bundle? Like what if you buy 500 subscriptions? Like will they give you a price break or a thousand, right? So, you know, again, I've never, I haven't done this sort of outreach, but like in my mind, if, if for the sake of numbers, let's say Netflix is $14.99 a month. If I went to them and said, I want a thousand subscriptions at nine ninety nine. I feel like they might do it. I don't know, right? You know, that's my initial thought. And and you could tell them your strategy. It's like we've got a lot of interest in this, but we're gonna take if somebody has Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, if you can save everybody fifteen percent if they bundle it all, mm-hmm. and you're getting it for thirty percent less, that's your margin, right? You know, yes. and so. I feel like I would start off with like asking them, well, what if I bought a thousand subscriptions? What if I was a corporation that had a thousand employees and I was offering it as an incentive to all my employees? What would you charge me per month? Mm, that's a good idea. Uh, but they, the they probably have an offering. Yeah, but the only problem here, key will be, uh, Chris, here will be me paying in advance for all these thousand. No, you're right. But let's at least find out so we can yeah. look at the unit economics for it. And then if the unit economics work, then you start to do the marketing for it. And you're right. You are going to have to probably put some out, but if you do the right marketing strategy, who doesn't want to save? True. Right now on the flip side, are they going to, is Netflix and them going to say, well, we're cannibalizing our own product. We don't want people to switch from you, us to you. But then your argument is, yeah, but you've got people that left you to go to Peacock because you lost the office. Again, I'm making this up, right? The office is a flagship show. Yeah. Office left Netflix and went to Peacock. So my initial thought is, well, don't think of it about people switching over. Think about the more customers you're going to have because people will be more inclined to have your 
service mm-hmm. along with another one because of the cost savings. So that would be my first step. I would reach out and see like, is there a bundle up package? If I buy a thousand or 500 subscriptions, what happens at 10,000? What happens at 20,000? Right. You know, for them, like, I think it's an incremental cost up every time they get a new subscriber, right? Whether they have like 10,000 subscribers or 10 million, like the cost of production of the shows and the streaming is the same. So um, that would be my approach initially is seeing if I can put together and maybe it starts with like three, three of them in a bundle, right? Like, mm-hmm. you know, and then on the flip side, I looked at your site and you've got different subscriptions there, you know, maybe there's a standard you get and you go to them and say, well, these brands are giving me 30% off if I buy at least 500 and maybe you put a timeline. I'll have 500 subscriptions by September 1st or a thousand by September 1st. And if I don't hit that, increase me by 5% or increase me by 10%. You can start to get creative and try to get this negotiation done. My mind is you need to sort of do like an MVP. You got to prove out the model works that the consumers want this. On the flip side, you can start to survey out given all like, like I know there's some cost to this, but you know, doing this is going to, this is, this is probably a decently hefty investment in the marketing for this. Right. What if you did like a survey to a thousand people and give them all like a, five dollar starbucks gift card yeah it cost you five grand what if you find out that 70 percent of them wouldn't do it they wouldn't bundle them to save 15 percent because they don't want to we don't know right that's telling us that there really isn't a product market fit here we might because me and you might think there is one but this is this is important for any business right as founders we a lot of times believe we know the answer but the truth is the consumer has the answer you want to go where the audience is telling us to go you might find out like one of your questions could be like listing 10 different services and say, which of these 10 uh, click all that apply? Would you bundle up if you could save money and like, see how many they're selecting. Right. Mm. And you might find out there that on average, 90% of them picked these four always because they want these four that might include Spotify with Netflix, with Disney plus with headspace, you know, I don't know, making now you can take that data to them and say, look, 80% of our, audience said they want these four in a bundle i'm gonna i want to take that put that bundle together and i want to sell it for you you know it's not much different than like those third-party companies that are selling comcast or comcast is a cable service in the u.s like there's third-party companies that resell that or are resellers it's not much different and i wonder if you can do something like that um that would be my first approach Mm -hmm. Good. What else? I noticed you had a question about retention, I think, right? Yes. Uh, but before retention is, uh, well, of course, as a startup, we have very limited marketing budget. Chris, how do I increase more customer with yeah. very limited marketing budget? Makes it a little harder. Um, one of the things you could do is like get a, get, you know, a hundred to 200 influencers that you give them the bundle for free and have them talk about it or, (laughs) you know, right. Like you got to remember you're, you have to get scrappy with your marketing, but you also have to move fast. You need to get subscribers fast. So, you know, another part of it is I'm sure you could do some Facebook marketing that gets an ROI that could potentially make sense. But again, this goes back to the conversation we had, which is like the chicken and the egg, right? Like what comes first? You're going to need an investment in my opinion. You're going to need some, you're going to need to put up some money to get like the services initially first and then dedicate a percentage of that towards marketing. And then you're going to start to see your ROAS on your ad spend, getting you X amount of subscribers. And then as they renew, it's going to drive more revenue. Um, Cause right now your product fit under your product page, are these all the services you have for streaming? There's yep. 23 of them here. Yep. I'm just looking here now. So it's it's a matter of can you use these right now to drive some revenue and then use that revenue to double back down on the marketing? So most yeah, of like, these are, at the moment, they are like small and medium size. Yeah. I mean, look at the way I look at your business is like your idea makes sense. Like I said, I said that this was a, someone asked me if I was to start another business idea, what would it be? It was this. And like, yeah. I just don't have the time to do it. 
nor the resources. You know, I, my bandwidth is too tight, but I believe this doesn't work without an investor. You might have to try to raise some money if you don't have the funding yourself. I think that that's what I would do. And then through your due diligence with the bigger names, the Netflixes, the Disney Plus, the Headspaces, like you're able to show that data in your pitch. Like, and then like doing that survey that I said, mm -hmm. also give data to like, this is viable. This is what people are want, right? I mean, I'm going from, I'm moving into a new house and I'm not getting cable and I'm not getting direct TV. I'm going to get YouTube TV. Yeah. I'm going to subscribe to Peacock. I'm going to subscribe to Disney Plus. I'm going to subscribe to Netflix. If somebody was like, you'll save 15% or 10% by bundling them all. And then you saw this happen a little bit already. I think that Disney Plus has a bundle with like HBO. Or I don't remember which one. Yeah. They bundle with yeah. one of them, right? Yeah. Yeah, as you know, Disney Plus is a very big company, so they have a lot of their yeah, in-house brands that they bundle together. Yeah, they bundle up. So you need to Same bundle them up with their competitors because your sell is, look, everybody wants all of these. And instead of making everybody pick and and justify share of wallet, let's just bundle them up. Correct. But you're going to have to move fast. Like, I think you have to raise some money and try to move fast on this. I really do believe that. Yeah. It's not... It's not your typical business where we can kind of grow slow. Correct. And furthermore, and plus we are in the cross bundle. That means we would like to see how we can cross certain products together. For example, like gym subscription goes well with music subscription. So we try to bundle those cross where customer usually will want to also. Yeah. Or like a gym subscription with Mirror or Mirror and Peloton. Like, yeah. there's no reason you shouldn't have a bike, the bike one and the mirror one, because the mirror one is like not on a bike workout. And then the bike ones, like you want to have that diverse, like those people would love that. I, shit. Oh, excuse my language. But like, to me, like, and then you add like fight camp into there. Like, this is like a gym bundle. Yes. Right. Get all right. these streaming services for one low price. One day you want to ride the bike. One day you want to do the boxing. One day you want to be in front of the mirror. I mean, it's a no brainer for somebody that works out. That, that, True. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. You just got to move fast. You're going to have to raise some money, I think, and try to like, and you can do it, right? It's not easy, but the model makes sense. And if you prove out the data and you have the conversations with the big brands, you need to go have that conversation with them like you're bigger than you are. So I'm calling Fight Camp like, hey, well, this is what we're coming out with. This is our new initiative. We're raising funds. I, I want to understand if I buy 10,000 subscriptions, if I bring you 10,000 subscribers, say it like that. If I bring you 10,000 subscribers, what kind of break are you going to give me? Because you're not going to build this business with 1,000 subscribers. It's not going to be what makes you any money, right? You need to build yeah. this up to 100,000, 200,000, 500,000, million subscribers, right? So that's the approach I would take. Look, if I bring you 10,000 subscribers, what will you charge me per subscription? If I bring you 500,000 or 100,000, where do the price breaks come into play? You then take that model, do that against the data with, with – um, the data approach you've put together with uh, surveying customers, potential customers, put that all in a pitch deck. Then you go out and raise it. Mm. Right. Yeah. And you can start to accelerate. Like from there, you can take that data and start to see like, what are the returns on this? What does the bandwidth look like? How kind of resources do I need? What kind of team do I need? Do I handle customer service or if something goes wrong with Disney plus, they call Disney plus. Like it's so all these little things here that we got to solve for. Um, but that's what I would do, and I would I would invest in surveying the audience because that could save you a lot of money, even though it's – it's don't think of it as, like, money that's going in the garbage. Like, you need the data to make better decisions for the business. True. And Agreed. it could save you a lot of time and energy because we could be wrong. Maybe somebody doesn't want all three of those gym brands. I think they would. But maybe somebody's like, no, like, I don't want to spend $100 a month. Yep. And I just want Peloton. You know, we don't know. Yep. So – that's my very first suggestion is to have some conversations with some of the bigger brands and start to survey some customers. Okay. Thanks, Chris. The other yeah, question we asked you, um, and I guess a lot of startups who have asked you this question is about motivation or about finding the, the fire as sometimes mm -hmm. over, over time it cool off. Yeah. Yeah. You're saying we're launching a new business. Yeah. And yeah. Well, I'd say watch, you should follow me on Instagram because I, I do motivating videos every other day or so. But, you know, the truth is um, it's sometimes it's less about the fire and 
there's always roadblocks as an entrepreneur. Things go wrong. And you got to push through. Like, it's it, there's rainy days, right? Like, they happen all the time. Yeah. And sometimes it can be very deflating, right? And you're like, oh. If you love it and you love the idea and you want to do it, you got to push it. It's not about, like, weathering a storm. I always say it's, you know, someone else said this quote. It's not about weathering a storm. It's about dancing in the rain. You're going to have bad days and setbacks. They're all learning experiences. But if you truly believe in this and love it, then you got to put all of your time and energy into it. And when you go to pitch this idea to raise money, the the VCs will see the passion in your voice. And that means a lot to them. But you also have to prove out that this will work. I think that we think that it will work. I think it, we think it makes sense. Yes. You have to prove it out still, right? Yeah. And so the other part of it is too is like the most – the second most important thing is that once you prove out that it works is you need a really good go-to-market strategy. It doesn't matter how good the idea is. If nobody knows it exists, nobody's going to go there. And that's why you got to put a really good marketing plan in place. Any last questions? Uh, the last one will be, uh, well, as you know, my challenges is about the bundle. Uh, how do I find the sweet spot of, of the bundle in terms of, uh, yeah, the pricing, what kind of discount? Uh, furthermore, is I would survey. I do that survey. If you were to bundle these, and, and I saved you this much, would you switch? But yeah. people are always looking for a deal. I feel like it's probably in this like ten to fifteen percent by bundling up. You know, like the consumer would be happy, and then for you, it's like you got to get thirty percent probably off. So, Chris, at the moment, my my system is more static bundle. That means we do a pre prefix bundling. Do you think customizing bundle will make a better? Or more attractive to the consumer. Yeah, because they can pick the ones they want and don't want. Mm. But there's got to be some criteria, right? Like you got to pick at least three or at least four. Yeah. Or something. yeah. Minimum two. Yeah. You might want to increase it to one more. There's so many subscriptions now, right? Or yeah. or when you bundle two, you save 5%. When you bundle three, you save seven and a half. When you bundle four, you save 10. You know, you just increase it. Yeah. yeah. The tiering discount goes as yeah. the more you... Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. That's good. Well, Shocker, I hope this was helpful. I'm glad yes. you were on. I, I wish you tons of luck in this new venture. I, I, I love the idea. Like I said, I'd come up with this. I had said this when somebody asked me a question. Um, for those of you watching, if you want to be on the show, go to subta.com slash Chris G. It was so great meeting you. I wish you a ton of luck. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you.